Folks, Daniel and Katie are representing West Australia in the junior category, so that's between the ages of 13 and 16. I don't know if you're aware, ladies and gentlemen, but you are being graced by some of Western Australia and Australia's finest dancers tonight. And, uh, yeah, you are the Daniel and Katie are the reason that we are here tonight. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you're not aware, it's very, very expensive sports. Just imagine how much all those glittery bits cost. That's probably just that little glittery bit there is probably about four or five hundred dollars and that's just the glittery bit. So you can imagine how much money goes into costuming, lessons, coaching, driving and from A to B after school every day. The cost is, is amazing ladies and gentlemen if you could understand. Daniel and Katie are one of Western Australia's most successful junior couples to date. And they are, ladies and gentlemen, Competitors in the eight dance competition, which is uh, four dances of the boring variety and four dances of the Latin variety as well. And they get judged over all eight dances. You could call it endurance dancing, and I did mention that earlier tonight. Daniel and Casey travelled to Sydney last year to the South Pacific uh, Championships, and they were victorious and came out number one in the eight dance competition. They are travelling to Canberra next month uh, to compete in another eight dance competition and they also will be travelling to South and these two contest their eight dance championship in October. So we wish them all the best. Me and I have been together for quite a while now. Seems like forever. <laughs> four years, ladies and gentlemen, four years uh, in the adult category. We're looking at uh, West Australia and Australian champions, folks. In the adult category, they push it up to ten dancers. But it is basically the same competition. And we are being graced by the Australian Ten Dance Champions tonight, ladies and gentlemen. So, a round of applause. And they will also be travelling to Canberra to contest that uh, in June. And also, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Brody and Lana also travel internationally to represent not only West Australia but Australia. And they were lucky enough to place at the World Cup in Moscow in the top 24 in the world, ladies and gentlemen. So that is an achievement within itself. And a round of applause, one more time. Thank you. 
Very talented teenagers here. 